Hi everybody, so today we're gonna, I'm gonna be showing you guys the the new project that I'm gonna be doing. This is gonna be a little bit different of a project. It's not gonna be something that I like that I like fix up every single like focus so much time on it, kind of like how I did with the C10. Yeah, I'm gonna fix it here and there whenever I get time and show you guys the progress of it. So eventually it could be to where I want it to be, and eventually I'll show you guys the plans that I have for it. But it's gonna be a little bit more slower progress, and you know, just to add a little something to it because sometimes I get bored around the house and it's actually the thing is that it's actually my my brother's truck i'm sure if you guys check out the last videos you guys could see it um that it came out on there um just coincidentally so he's gonna end up bringing it because he doesn't want it at his house anymore so basically he was gonna throw it away so he's just gonna let me have it this is a vehicle that he had for a very long time maybe like 20 years before like the past few years it just hasn't even been working so we're waiting for it right now because it's gonna have to be towed here so we're just waiting for it to come no i thought it was that one but no so once we end up getting it then that's where we're gonna be like doing all the little stuff that we're gonna be doing to it but basically a little bit of history on that one um he got it maybe like 20 years ago but he just hasn't um drove it for like the past maybe five eight maybe like eight years i would say but he did a lot of work to that when he bought it he bought it used it was in great shape and eventually he did a brand new paint job the same color but just repainted it uh he bought some rims for it he had a system tvs they it was this was back in the day when he was growing up um i was still little at that time but uh he did a lot of work to it but just he kind of just got bored of it and then just kind of left it there uh, when he parked it in his in his driveway it was working but then for some reason it just like now when we try to start it it doesn't want to start like it cranks but it just doesn't start though so that's the problem that we have right now my main thing is just trucks you know but i mean i also um think that one would make a good, a good project as well and i just don't want him to just get rid of it and throw it away like that i'd rather just keep it and um figure it out little by little but we'll see yep, here's my dad Okay, saludar a todos de la cámara. Es que les puedo decir que ya que hay que poner todo en venta. <risa> todo en venta. Poner aquellos carros y todo. Y las trocas también. Todo, ya hay que vender todo. He's funny. Todo. That's my dad right there, but he's funny. He wants me to sell everything and sell my trucks, but <laughs> he's just messing around. Hopefully. All right, well, let's wait for the truck. It's gonna be pulling up any minute now. We're gonna try to put it over here on this side. So let's just wait for it, and then um, I'll show you guys after once it gets here. Oh, right, well, there it is. We just got it delivered. I was trying to get it all the way over here, but the tow truck wouldn't like clear the driveway. So I ended up just leaving it here wherever it could fit. I mean, it's all good. We'll eventually push it back. This thing's ugly, man, but... For the most part... Hasn't been washed maybe like in five years. <laughs> Besides the rain wash. That it gets every so often. These are the original wheels that it came with. But... These are the ones that he put after. I believe these are 22s. They're aluminum. Actually, nice wheels. Uh, they just need to be probably like cut and polished because they're in the size. Yep, they're 22s. So when he had it, he did a lot of work to it. Like he, like obviously the wheels, he added these pieces right here. The steps, I think, to get on. Maybe we could push it back and then start getting it ready. Let me show you guys the inside of it also. So he used to use it like as a storage container because he didn't want to rent a storage container so you just use this as it. So we gotta take everything out because it's basically all trash. This is the subs that he had. It was two twelves. I think he still has the amp and everything but I don't think it's hooked up so we're gonna have to check it out. He took it all apart. This one here, like, the dash is obviously all broken. It's like a dash replacement or a cover or something. Took off the stereo, the, the 
AC stuff and everything. Everything's in here. All the pieces are in here. We just got to put it together. But I mean, it's a 95 GMC Yukon. So we're going to see what we can do with it. We might make it like a little like off-roading. Like lift it and do the off-roading wheels and but it's a 4x4 and that used to work so we'll see we'll, we'll see what we can do man if you know you know if you know you know this thing's freaking junk it's a piece of crap all right well let's see if we can move it back all right we're finally able to push it up from the driveway that thing was a mission man it was like downhill so Basically, we had to push it up. We used those like, um, like this rope thing that we had like tied to the tree, and then we were able to pull it that way. But it was still kind of a mission. I mean, we got it there. Yeah, as you can see, this thing's disgusting, man. Look at this. Different wheels. We have all the set of wheels. It's just that we took them off because some of them need tires, so we have to get all new tires. I don't know what paint job I'm going to do with them. I'm going to figure out a cheap way to paint it myself. And then we might be end up using the same wheels. I want to get like some, see if I can get like some rugged tires on them. Like some more bulkier ones. And give it a little lift with a couple like two inch spacers or something. It's going to look hard. So make sure you guys stay tuned because we're going to be doing it in the videos. I mean it's not going to be like I said like as many videos like my C10. This is going to be more of a slower progress one. But eventually we'll... The main thing right now is just to, to try to get it running, which I think it might be like the fuel pump issue. Hopefully it's just like a relay or something. Because I mean, this thing hasn't been driven in years. And then if we can't figure out how to get it started, get it running, then I guess we'll just throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see. It look pretty clean. Huh? You're not sad for letting it go? Kind of a little, huh? <laughs> as long as it stays here, that's the thing that... I was like, ah, at least I'm gonna still see it. And it's, it, needs the, it needs the love and attention. It's gonna get the love and attention yeah. it needs, you know? The only thing is, I already said that once we finish um, fixing it up, it's gonna end up being a giveaway to one of my subscribers. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That was clean. Damn. That was right? With, some, with the lift, some Damn. rugged tires, oh, yeah. some spacers on it, and brand Are new paint job. I don't nice know. Stuff. Not a big we'll one, see. like a little three inch lift. I'm thinking it'll look pretty clean, like say those wheels, we keep and those jump. wheels, but yeah, get some rugged tires yeah, for those, huh? Give it a little lift to where it'll clear. Yeah. And then uh, like, a, like a little one or two inch spacer so it could like stick oh, out a little bit too. Because yeah. it's four by four, yeah. so. Yeah, I could probably even do it like another, like like just try to find a way of, I was thinking of doing, I've seen trucks where they do like the spray in bed liner paint job on them. Oh really? I've seen something like that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna look into it. Maybe yeah. I could do something like that on this one. Yeah, I don't know. Cool. We'll see. Just some yeah, ideas like to throw out truck, there. Right? Yeah, kind of more yeah. like off-roading. But the main thing so far at first is just to get it running. Yeah. Cause we also got that Super Sport bumper that yeah. he put. That's what year is that Super Sport bumper it's for? It's for, uh, I think it's those uh, 05, no. Yeah, the 05 Super Sport Silverados. Oh. That's where, that's where it kind of. I wonder if that would fit my OBS, the white one. It should, it's just a bumper cover, it just goes over the bumper. Because if we make it look like an off-roading look, maybe yeah. it'll just look better with just a regular, because the, the, the regular actual bumper. bumper is behind that, right? Yeah. The it's just the cover, right? Just the yeah. cover. Pretty much just snaps over it. Yeah. Just screw it, screw it, screw it. Yeah. So they could, sí. say, you could do that and like just take it off, sand it off, paint it, yeah. color match it to the OBS. I don't know, we'll see. It's gonna need a, need a new hood too. But yeah. luckily these are cheap to yeah. find because a lot of people like they'll sell them for like 50, 60 yeah. bucks. You can like in good. Yeah, because a lot of people they throw these away because they end up getting like the cow hood or another like HD hood or stuff like that. So then they just sell them like. Wow, um, if we change the hood, maybe we'll put like another different hood, like an HD one or something. A little bit more bigger, bulkier. Like the roof rack for those, like the Escalades, is probably still there. Oh, really? You know how the escalator had like the cap? Kind of how my. Oh, my, I didn't bring my truck. You know how like. Yeah, like the chrome part? Oh, no, just in the front it had the cap? No, it's every, it's the whole thing. But yeah, these are. It's, at that time, they're not. Um, 
It's still didn't have a chrome. It's just the same color. It's just like oh, that this year one. Yeah, this like year it was the whole. You ordered those? Wow, back long well, last time. Oh, you don't there. know where they're at though? Yeah, it should be in the. Ahí está en la casita, no? Oh, yeah, this guy has like a bunch of parts that he just never put on because he had like a, an addiction back in the day to buying truck parts. And then he grew up and you know, things changed, so it's a little different, but. We're gonna have to look for those parts and see. Because look at the dash, yeah, man. It's ugly. We'll probably just get a little cover dash cover, yeah. like the cover lay. We'll fix that, huh? Fix that, yeah. Because it has a system and an amp, too. Amp. It's probably just not connected. I gotta uh, rewire it. Yeah, because I have the, it had the capacitor, so you gotta reset. Like, you know how you have to, like, reset it? I don't know when you put two little sh it kind of resets. Yeah. Because I have a capacitor, too, for that. Because for the lights wouldn't be blinking when it's bumping oh okay oh yeah yeah i remember that like the dash light yeah dash cluster yeah, yeah. it's pretty much gonna be the end of end of the video maybe in the next video i'll show you guys once we clear it out clean up the inside of it because it's all filled with junk oh, yeah. i have to get a dumpster to put it Cover mats? The, um, floor mats. Floor yeah. mats? Oh, yeah. They're even still in the bag. Damn. Because I didn't even put them on. Yeah. He has everything. I mean, it's all like, taken apart, but look, pretty much has everything still here. Yeah, you gotta stock, put it together. Radio. Shouldn't be that hard to put back CD, together. Stock CD changer. I tried oh, yeah, there's one over here in the stock CD player right yeah, here. Okay. It's all here. It's basically just spending the time to put it together. Pretty much. He even has a little CD collection like with T Pain, Lord Banks. Yeah, old. They're all the old school jams back in the day. The game. I think you about like a know about sunroof that. too. I mean, sun visor because these are sunroof. I like, damn, you ain't about a sunroof for it? Or these were the sun. No, these were the, the sun visors. Out, sun visors. Or were these the new ones? I don't know. I oh, because they were like already old? Yeah, because they were like ripping. Look at Oh. But they were not new. I bought them used, but they're a little better. Better condition. Yeah. We need to figure out something with this because it's kind oh, of it's actually some parts are coming off. This is actually this one. I'm well, just oh, probably wait. glue it back on it. So I don't know. No, both of them have mirrors. Never mind. These are the two originals. I don't know you can get them reposted. What were you thinking when you took everything off? Like, what the like, heck? Oh, I'm gonna f I was going to I was gonna do this up. I was going to take this, the, the liner, and do the, the, the roof thing again. So I was like, alright, I'm going to take all the panning off, glue it <laughs> up, and I just never got to it. Because you're going to re-glue this, kind of? No, re-glue it. Take it off and put a new one. Oh, a whole new one? A whole new one. Oh. What year did you do that? That You're thinking of oh, doing that? I think it was 2015. 2015? Are you sure? Positive. No, because that's when you actually like moved over there, remember? Well, that's kind of when I started that, no? Oh, yeah? Oh, so like at that time you still in. had plans. Yeah. So no, because 2015 we still had it parked here. Oh, remember? no, 2016 maybe? Also, when you took it over there, yeah. Oh, at that time you're still planning on fixing. Well, I said might as well. No, well, my plans were like, all right, let me just get it running, and at least it could be decent inside. Where I yeah. feel like, all right, if I go some more like more like a, go take it off roading or mud whomping, just do some donuts in rainy days. I want to get it yeah. at least running and it's decent inside, but. Oh, so I guess he checked the fuel pump. So I don't think it's the fuel pump because he said you could hear it now. I tested the relay, the relay was good, that thing is on, I hear it, mm. um, and then, um, so I, I did like to see if it throws a spark, I think I did it right, I didn't see a spark, so I'm assuming it's that, it needs like some spark plugs. Yeah. 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 Hey. All right, y'all. Well, that's gonna be it. Make sure you guys stay tuned for the progress on this one. Like I said, I mean, I don't know what other stuff I'm gonna be bringing out to the channel, but I mean, I plan on doing a little something once I hit the 1,000 subscriber mark because I'm getting pretty close. Um, but I mean, I appreciate everyone who's been subscribing to my channel. I mean, when I started, I never thought. I mean, I, I never really. I mean, I would hope to get to a thousand subscribers but i mean i kind of would brush it off like ah that's kind of like almost impossible but i mean i'm really grateful for the fact that people have actually been subscribing to my channel leaving comments liking my videos um all that stuff really appreciate that 
um hopefully the channel just keeps growing little by little like i said when i did this i, I did it just because i love trucks you know i'm a big fanatic of old school trucks in particular so i mean i kind of just did it because i was like well i like trucks i like collecting and why not show the progress for other people maybe i can help out other people when i'm doing a little something or or restoring a specific area in the truck or a specific thing so i figured i'll help somebody out and people would watch my videos i like watching truck videos like that of other people as well that do troqueando videos and stuff like that so i figured if i liked it there was somebody else out there that might like it so why not just put some content out there see what people think hopefully it helps some people out like i like i said thank you everybody for subscribing for leaving comments liking my videos it really really means a lot i appreciate it but make sure you stay tuned for the progress on this one and then for the other stuff that we have in the store for um other videos to come but already y'all well thanks for watching appreciate it hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys on the next one peace